Sweep! What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and in today's video, we're gonna create three bases and we're gonna layer them together. We're gonna have our sub, our mid, top base, and then, of course, our little click for our slap house base. If you wanna support the channel, guys, make sure to check out evilsounds.com. I did release a brand new pack called Deja Vu for the slap house genre for Extra Record Serum if you're looking for some sounds. With that being said, let's get straight into this video, guys. So, like I said, we're going to have three layers, so we're going to kind of set up Serum here. We're going to have our main mid, and then we're going to have our sub, and then we'll set up like a pluck one, and they're all going to be playing the same MIDI, of course. Now, the first thing we want to create is our sub, and with the sub, you can do a couple of things, guys. The first thing is, is that we can go with a sign, and that's usually going to be more of the popular choice by a lot of people, and the sign will work great if you plan on saturating it and then distorting it a bit more to get upper harmonics on it, because if you don't, it's going to sound something like this. So strong, strong, and then it sort of fades out at the bottom. So when this scenario, we can kind of do a bit of distortion and we kind of get the power back now when we go into the bottom note. Okay, we're gonna model legato this there. Now my favorite combination in all honesty is gonna be to go with a square and saw, which I show a lot to the tech house guys, but I think it works in any genre, as that's gonna give me something that's gonna have power, sound sort of saturated as it is, like a sign, when we get rid of the upper harmonics on it. Like so. Now we're gonna iron phase both of these guys so that they always start at the same phase. Okay, we're gonna have the sub around at that value, probably 12. And now we're gonna move on to the main mid bass. Now this is probably gonna be the bass that you guys recognize when you hear a slap house track. The sub gets no love even though it does a lot. Uh, but with this bass, guys, it's pretty simple. Um, we're gonna go negative three and then from there, what seems to be the norm in slap house at the moment is utilizing FM wavetables. So you can go with FFT at second. From there we can do that. We're gonna use envelope three to give it a bit of punch to the pitch. Uh, and what this is going to do is it's going to give us that knock you tend to hear a lot in these kind of slap house tunes, envelope three to the master tune, so that we move the amount to the right. And depending on how much you go by, it's going to give you more of a click. So we can kind of move this so. You can kind of see how it sounds like that. Now this guy, we are going to shape it a little bit. Run it through a filter because we don't want a lot of highs in it. This is going to shape the sound with decay and sustain. Now when we have this together with the sub, it's going to sound something like this. And it sounds kind of decent, but now all we really need to do is do a bit of um, mixing. So the sub, obviously we want to keep it in a certain frequency range. Now you don't have to be surgical with this, by the way, because you can run the risk of essentially thinning out your bass. So what we want is maybe the sub. We'll cover maybe up to 114 and then this main mid, we can bring in any cue and maybe start to move it till we kind of feel like it sounds right. Okay, now the click itself, we're going to play around with it more because I'm not liking the way it's sounding. We're going to kind of mess with this global tune or uh, master tune, sorry. From there, we can maybe use another envelope to add a bit of shape to this. From there, if you want to use OTT, by all means. And we have a pretty strong bass. Now, the next step is optional. We're going to add a bit of a click to this. And the reason for that is just uh, if you want to kind of make it pop more, you want that click on it, then this is the way we do it. We're going to go in the attack and then just pick one that we kind of like for ours. One shot it. Now, the hardest thing with this, I'm not going to lie, is that when you do three layers, now you have three levels that you have to, you know, account for as you layer your bass. And this is where it gets a bit hard. What I recommend you kind of do is, first off, your sub will probably be one of the loudest. And that's just due to perceived loudness. Usually, loud, lower frequency need to be put way louder in order for them to sound as loud as higher layers or higher frequencies. So that's where we can kind of kind of go about it. Boop, 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 boop,
Now from there, we let's assume that we have this layer to where we want it to. Now it's the fun part. We start to kind of process it together. So what we can do is we can glue them together. I'm going to use something called the Supercharger uh, GT just because I have contact completed. I never use it in my video, so might as well. Uh, and we're going to kind of go with a bit of saturation. We're going to, of course, maybe pick a punchy, how that sounds like. Fat, of course, character, hella up. And it sounds like I just fucking... Lost a bit of my midlows, a bit too much. There we go, warm. Okay, from there now, there's a lot of possibilities that I can do. One, I could add more layers if I wanted to, but for me, the more layers, the more points of error that you're going to have and you're going to have to account for a lot more so let's assume that you like this sound but you're just like it's a little too friendly i want something a little harder then pick a different wave table pick a different tone the important one is going to be that mid main mid layer because that's where we can kind of switch it for instance i could go i don't know let's go with cream i don't know how it's going to now if i want to make it wide what i like to do is r and face yeah and we're going to go to Now this becomes a little difficult now because now we have this guy wide. So of course, if you want the click wide as well, then you're going to have to use the Haas on the click because there's no two voicey two men that we can kind of do to get that. But we can move this guy down. But the cool thing here is that, as you can see, I'm, I'm moving stuff around. And getting like different sounds. Of course, they're all not going to work, but you can find one that you like. Okay, from there, what I can do as well is start to layer if that's what I want to do. That supercharger GT is just making it warm and it's kind of like, honestly, it's kind of a clutch because it's, it, we need to mess with the sound more to get it to where we want. So I think it's opening up a bit too much. Let's increase the DB pull. Oh, that's more like it. Now from here, the sub, <coughs> we're going to shape it a little bit as well, like give it that decay to it so that it's shaped. Now let's see how it sounds like with some drum. Okay, we definitely want to add our, our side chain here. So we'll use all the full tool for this. I'll bring back the Supercharger GT just for the compression and, and of course the character that it gives us. And we're just going to go like this. And just to see how it sounds like. Again, this is kind of like a clutch thing. So we're going to have that from there. We can kind of start to fine tune and add even more to this guy in terms of like processing. Like we can definitely push it more if needed. Um, and that's the thing you want to kind of pick these four guys and put them together. Okay. From there, it seems a bit too much. So let's lower down. Let's get rid of OTT. We don't want it to be a clutch either. From here, I can widen by doing this. The idea here now is, is that you can mess around even further to kind of get combinations. You can do a seventh if you like. And now it's starting to get harder. So 
So just playing around with different combinations there, as you can see, we can come up with a lot of really cool bass lines. And if you want to add the click, that's totally up to you. But again, as long as you're being clean about it, you have your sub, your main mid, you can do this with presets as well if needed. I think you guys will be fine, but you get the idea, the gist of how we create like these really nice bass lines. Again, the key thing here is the sub, main mid, from there you process together in, in a certain way to get something that you can use in a song. With that being said, guys, I hope you guys take care. It's hella hot in here, so sorry if I look kind of like sweaty and everything. But you guys take care. You guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll catch you guys next time for another video. Peace out. Take care.